Hi there. Today I'm going to give a quick rundown on how to set up your camera to work with Ion Scanner Pro. We'll begin by opening the Preferences and selecting the Camera tab. By default, Ion will connect to the first available system camera, which can be found on channel number 0. If we have more than one camera, we can click the Scan button to see which ones are available for use. Here we see another camera is available on channel 1. If we were on a laptop, this would most likely be our external USB webcam and we would want to set this as our default device. We can also change settings such as resolution and frame rate. If you're experiencing a lot of input lag, you may want to reduce these settings. Generally, an 800 by 600 resolution is good enough to scan lists. However, if you want to save images of scanned cards, using a higher resolution may be necessary. You can increase the resolution and lower the frame rate until you're satisfied with performance. Here I'll just leave it at the defaults. The similarity threshold determines how good a match the scan cards need to be in order to return a hit. Higher values will be more likely to make mistakes, so I recommend leaving this set to the default value. While scanning, Ion will wait until there's no more motion in the frame before it looks for cards. If there's too much motion, the blue circle indicator will turn red. If you have excessive light flicker or movement in the background, it may be necessary to increase the value of the slider until the red indicator disappears. By default, when Ion has not seen a card for more than two minutes, it will uncheck the scanning enabled box down here automatically. This is because scanning for cards can be computationally intensive, and this may cause excessive system slowdown or battery drain if left unattended. This feature can either be disabled entirely, or have the timeout duration increased to a value you see as fit. Lastly, if you are still experiencing problems connecting to your camera, you can choose to use the Windows built-in camera API to select a device. This will either connect to a device recognized by Windows, or open a camera selection window on startup if more than one device is available. Unfortunately, this feature has not been supported by Microsoft for a number of years, so it's only recommended as a last resort. Once you've connected to your camera, you should be able to manipulate camera properties using the manufacturer-provided software. Here, through the Logitech software, I can manually set the focus to a distance that is appropriate for my camera. If your camera is mounted opposite from you, you may find that the image is flipped, you can invert it back to upright through the scanning menu. One mistake I see a lot of new users making is placing the webcam much too close to the cards. This will not improve scanning accuracy by any appreciable amount. I recommend keeping the camera placed between 15 and 30 inches away from the scanning surface. The scanning surface should be a solid color and provide good contrast with the edges of the cards. Here I use a gray desktop, but you shouldn't have any issues using the colored play mat or just plain cardstock. It's important to note that scanning on a solid black or white background may cause issues with the respective colored card borders. While cards do not need to be scanned in any particular orientation, it's more likely for errors to occur when they are scanned upside down. After scanning a card, Ion will wait until the card has been moved before it attempts to find a new one. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll cover basic inventory management and scanning operations.